My name is Andre Hudson, and I am head of the product design for an EV, otherwise known as independent electric vehicles. We at Indy were founded in downtown Los Angeles in 2017 on the idea that the future of personal transport will no longer be measured by the matrix of horsepower, but rather processing power and connectivity. As electric as electric vehicles advance into the future, both drivers, both drivers and passengers demand more out of their user experience inside the car. Electric vehicles of the future must provide passengers with more opportunity than ever before, whether it be entertainment, creativity, options to work on the go, or integration into uh, Web 3.0 and blockchain technologies. This core concept led us to the development of the ND1 that you see behind me. Did you currently know that about 60% of drivers believe that today's electric vehicles really offer no significant improvements to the passenger's user experience than their petrol-driven brethren? In our modern age, we have thermostats that set themselves, uh, we have home electronics controlled by the sound of our voice, and mobile phones that harness the same power that it took to land man on the moon. Meanwhile, cars have really fallen behind. The average American spends about 18 days out of their year, every single year, inside their car. But their vehicles still act as a variable dead zone, disconnecting ourselves from our friends, our family, our entertainment, and the limitless knowledge that the internet offers us. NDEV wants to give users those tools to better integrate their lifestyle into their daily travel. In an always online world, connectivity is key, and electric vehicles need to catch up. As we've seen over the last few years, it seems as though people more often than not are getting their work done anywhere but sitting in an office behind the desk. They're at home, they're at the park, they're waiting to pick the kids up from practice, and anywhere in between. We wanted to bridge the technology gap in terms of what's available to you at your home and your office with the novelty and convenience of your personal vehicle. This was the spark from which the ND1 was born. To integrate this idea, we developed what we call a vehicle integrated computer, or VIC, as we like to call it in NDEB. Through the VIC, users have the access to incredible processing power as never before seen in a vehicle and connectivity, no matter where they will be or wherever they are with their car. With seamlessly connected 5G service and an array of digital hardware, the ND1 is your digital toolbox. And it can take that toolbox with you wherever you may go. Connectivity is more important than ever before, and we want users to have the freedom to take their online life with them to the beach, to the mountains, or on family road trips. The ND1 gives you that in-car experience you need to keep up with the ever-changing world. The ND1 was designed to give users an unparalleled experience in comfort, in control, and connectivity. For more on this innovative vehicle, we've prepared a short video. Please watch the screens to the left and right. We live in an always online, on the go world. Connectivity is key. You can't put pause on the game of life while you're on the road. Introducing the Indy One from independent electric vehicles. This is the user experience. This is power and control like you've never seen before. This is your digital toolbox. This is the Indy One from independent electric vehicles. From top to bottom, the ND1 was designed to bring drivers the best, freest experience possible, starting with the infotainment. The two most common complaints that drivers have with modern infotainment systems is that they are, number one, difficult to use, and number two, perform badly. 
Integration of the VIC that you see in front of the car helps to solve both of these problems. Since the experience is under complete control of the user, you can choose what you want and what you don't want. No other vehicle gives access to the processing power of the VIC. The combination of the VIC along with an array of onboard hardware including cameras and microphones allows for literally endless possibilities including content creation, software development, mobile platform development, and VR and AR capabilities. Additional features like our provided software developers kit and peer-to-peer -peer interactions and the AI in the assistant vehicle software experience lets users deep dive into that experience just like they can with their home computers. Over-the-air updates uh, keep your vehicle up to date and cutting edge uh, as possible. As a vehicle, the design and feel of the Indy One is modern and unique. It has a beautiful minimalist interior with a five-passenger cabin made of uh, sustainable and recycled materials, complemented by a, a panoramic sunroof, which all vehicles will be spec with, also with ambient lighting controls. The 43 cubic inch rear cargo area is fitted with our patented click and lock system, which gives users total control of how they use and how they configure the space in the back of the vehicle. Every inch, every inch of this car was designed to give drivers the freedom to choose, whether it be adapting the rear end to be used like a pet loft, uh, changing how your car sounds to pedestrians, or turning your vehicle into an ultimate mobile content creating machine or even giving you a living space that learns and responds to your needs. The Indy One enables users to reshape their in-car experience. We designed, developed, and built the entire vehicle in-house at our LA R&D facility just south of downtown. This gave our team complete control over how we ensure that every system works in harmony with each other. Check out this video. <coughs> So traditionally in design, designers have always been tethered to their computer and their workstation. And we had to jump from the digital world to the physical world with the physical model. The beauty today with software that we use and the power of the VIC even in our computer is that as a design boss and as designers, we can actually sit in our vehicle with a mix of AR and VR, how the space lays out, where we want components at your fingertips for the drivers and for the passengers. And it's really awesome to actually be able to sit in the car and use some of these tools with my designers. Let me show you. Okay, great, it's looking really fine. Get it full with the passenger space. Let me show you space that's my So that's looking really nice. You get in the corner where that, that would be in the far side and they kind of sit you in the same perspective overlaying the IP. So with the power of the VIC, we're actually using the car to design the next generation of these vehicles for NDV, allowing us to do us, you to do you. All right, with an electric vehicle, of course, the foundation begins with the electrical system speak more on our proprietary platform and the battery systems contained within, I have the honor of introducing a good friend of mine, Tom Gage, uh, aka some of you may know him as the godfather of modern electric vehicles. Uh, let's take a moment to welcome Tom. Thanks, Andre. It's a pleasure to join you all virtually from our Los Angeles headquarters today. Our engineering team here started the Indy One design with a clean screen. We know our intended customers know our competitors in the market. That knowledge gave us direction, the architecture, and hard points that define the Indy One platform. And since the Indy One is an electric vehicle, the battery is central to the engineering process. An EV battery is big, heavy, and expensive, so it must work in harmony with the platform concept. Indy One's engineering staff can see the platform battery in-house and make sure that harmony is achieved. The platform and battery work together as the foundation for the Indy One user experience. Our goal is to make sure that user experience is a delightful one. Indy One is an EV and only an EV, so there are no compromises to accommodate combustion engines. The battery is central to the design and it's central of the car. It's mounted low between the wheels where its weight enhances handling characteristics. Even with 
all this power and chassis hardware, we still have a spacious cabin with seat for five. And the battery compartment under the floor has room for our double stack cylindrical lithium ion battery cells. The double stack construction allows for space efficient battery thermal control and optimal height for underfloor packaging. We offer two battery sizes, 74 kilowatt hours and 95 kilowatt hours. We are proud of the Indy One platform. We designed it not just for the Indy One, but to be the foundation for additional Indy models in the future. Some of these are already in the design stages, but I can't tell you about them yet. By keeping the battery and platform design in-house, we can readily adapt to future models as technology and markets evolve, and we will continue to offer state-of-the-art user experience to Indy EV customers. Thanks for joining me in LA. Now back to you, Andre. Thank you so much, Tom. And now I have the pleasure of making a very special announcement for us as a company here at Indy EV. Uh, as of uh, officially today, uh, we have open reservations for the Indy One, which are now open. Guests of the New York International Auto Show can make their reservations here at our booth. Uh, for those of you not in attendance, reservations can be made on our website at ndev.com. With reservations, users have the ability to choose actually nine color options that we've developed, many of which are exclusive launch edition colors. These colors were inspired by our hometown of Los Angeles, including Griffith Green, Melrose Rose, Silver Lake Silver, and more. Alongside these different color options, we've developed unique effects and packages as well, meant to embody different lifestyles that we imagined our customers having. For more information on these color and gift packages, please make your way uh, with your reservations to begin NDV.com. Uh, right now, I'd like to introduce the first uh, person and first reservation for the Indy One, the CEO of Global Green, William Bridge. Hey, Andre, it's a pleasure to be here. My name is William Bridge, CEO of Global Green, and we're dedicated to protecting physical and mental health, building strong communities, and supporting our planet's natural systems to create a secure, healthy, and safe future. That's why I'm so excited to be the very first pre-order for the Indy One, a vehicle that gives drivers the opportunity to connect with each other, to interact in ways that support their lifestyle like no other vehicle can, all with an eye on preserving our planet for future generations. In addition to being the first pre-order, I'd also like to announce official partnership between Indy EV and Global Green. For every pre-order, Indy One will donate to Global Green. We work with communities and leaders around the world, and our board includes activists like Jane Goodall, Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, and Robert Redford. We as humans have a responsibility to look after each other and our planet, not only for today, but for future generations, and ensuring a healthy home for our children and their children. Global Green, along with our board of directors, fully support the Indy EV vision to reduce our individual carbon footprint in cities and communities around the world. That's why it's so important that this partnership with Indy EV takes place because together we can focus on drivers to have a safe, innovative driving experience no matter where they go, taking steps to make sure the planet we love will be as beautiful as when their children follow in footsteps down the line. With that, it is an honor to pre-order number one for the Indy One. Go check out Indy EV. It's done. And thank you, Andre. Back to you. Thank you so much, William. Again, this is a huge milestone for us. We're very excited about our future together, and I hope you enjoy your Indy One when deliveries begin second quarter of next year. This vehicle is going to bring about a new way of looking at electric vehicles, we hope, and change what drivers and passengers expect and can do with their user experience in their car. Our motto at NEV is you do you. And that's really a phrase I feel encaps encapsulates our whole mission with the development of the Indy One. It's 2022, your vehicle should work for you and mold itself to be more what you need it to be instead of simply a mode of transportation from point A to point B. Your vehicle can become a part of your lifestyle and mold itself to help you express yourself. 
and your friends and your family. With the Indy One, you do you no matter where you are or no matter where you want to be. With that, I thank you for your time. I'd like to thank you all for joining us here today at the New York International Auto Show. The Indy One is on display here in our booth, and show attendees can also experience our VR demo downstairs on the track, which I really encourage you because it's really something phenomenal. If you can't attend the show here in person, visit us on NDEV.com for more information and reserve your Indy One today. MSRP for the Indy One will start at $45,000 and reservations uh, start at $100. I want to thank uh, William, who is with us virtually, uh, the entire Global Green family for joining us here today, uh, as well as your commitment to protecting our collective home here. Shout out to Yenna Kim and Bodie the Menswear Dog, who was influential for us uh, in launching our product a few months ago in Los Angeles. I'd like to introduce them. Uh, they're actually hanging out here in the corner of the stage. Thank you so much, Yenya. Like Great to have you here with us today, well, too. To this is Bodie. He was actually trying to get in earlier, and I was like, not until after the entire process. <laughs> so he's very excited, and thank you for allowing us it's been great. It's been great working with you. Thank you. Uh, so also, finally, very much to our Indy family, uh, both here at the show that worked so hard to get this together for us. We're a tiny but mighty team, uh, and the rest of the crew back in Los Angeles that worked tirelessly to get these uh, vehicles out for the last four years, actually, that we've been under development. Please feel free to come up to the stage, take some photos, and uh, my staff and myself, uh, we're here to answer additional questions you have. Again, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. It's a real pleasure for us being here in New York. Thank you so much.